Oh my gosh. I... No, 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 don't, don't, don't get hit by a train. Yeah, you just stay right here, horse. I just can't fucking stand playing it. Like, I'm so... Ugh. I hope it fucking dies. Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna get off at one. Maybe I just can't drive to this one. You've been able to operate a train, haven't you? No. Have you attempted to? No. All I did was start a train. Yeah, that's all I've done. Saying trains are supposed to be operational. I don't know if it's because I'm just not the right train or... Yeah. Very cutscene. A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Slippery as an eel in an it's oil. It's a pretty cool area. Man, because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course, I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well. You, you know, I know we wish for like to live in introduce you to a new best friend and he's he's going to give you all the decent robbable stage coaches a hot blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. <laughs> Alright, what? I understand I don't get offended. So I know we say a lot we wish uh life was still like this, but you know, at other times, it's like it's actually kind of like hard, except for like the position that we have, like you know the miners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Just. Well, if I lived back then, I'd definitely be in a gang. Like that's just me. No, we we we, we would be no, we wouldn't be in a gang. We would be bounty hunters, Hammer. We would be like the goofiest bounty hunters out there, though. Like. <laughs> Probably didn't shoot her foot off or something, but the smartest but dumbest bounty hunters. To a certain extent, on both, yes. <laughs> Nowadays, it's be like a, but laws and paperwork and. Ugh. I would be like a Clint Eastwood who got dropped on his head too many times, and you would be like a John Wayne who smoked a little bit too much pot. No, you would be more like a Chuck Norris because, you know, he's kind of that soft-spoken, I guess. But put him, give him a piece of weed and I think he would be pretty much like you. So, yeah, that, 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 that's about what we would be like. Carter Clint Eastwood and stoned out Chuck Norris. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get offended by that, did you? No. Okay. I know I, said, I remember seeing you post it on Facebook talk about how your family drinks, but it's okay to be an alcoholic, but you like one joint up and you're selling a pothead or something. A crackhead? Uh, I, I, yeah, crackhead, yeah. I don't think you're a crackhead. No, it's in my family. Yeah. Camping trip? That pissed me off. So like, okay, all of y'all can fucking kill your goddamn livers, but I'm over here smoking one joint and y'all get mad. Got on your brain cells. <laughs> I don't even care to be honest. I don't even want to fucking ever see him again to be honest with you. Wait, what happened exactly? Nothing. It just pissed me off. It's like they would rather me smoke a cigarette than smoke pot. 
Yes, not so much because you know it's good, it's worse for you, but I guess because it's illegal. I, I, I don't care. Got to move to Colorado. It's gonna be legalized in Michigan in November. Hello, oh, how about that? I think there's medical marijuana for Alabama. I don't know. Yeah, I mean there's medical here. Oh. Alright, I'm listening to this. Alright. Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged yep, man is no duty. man at all, No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. What are we okay. doing here? What the well, fuck? This is so confused. What's going on? I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south. Wait, are you with the Indian? Y'all searching that oh. house or something? No. Thank oh, I get it now. Right. We're you, probably gonna rob a stagecoach. Oh, you oh, you with that one guy, the old guy is ish. ish. Hey, I guess he's he has a mustache. Trail away. Think so. Yeah. He's gonna get some woman to perform opera with him, and you guys. All right, shut up. Coat. You're. I, it's not a spoiler. Yeah, it is a spoiler because I want to. I want to play game. Okay. Okay, Michael. Shut up, Harry. Well, you're in for a surprise for Chapter 5, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, I'm glad. I'm gladly excited for it. Uh, I, uh, there was one part about I did not like. I'm sure you won't like it either, or you may, I don't know. Uh, it gets good at the... No! Oh, no! Oh, oh God. I thought my horse was about to jump off in the river. <laughs> There's a few seconds ago, uh, carriage blew up in front of me and a bunch of bounty hunters tried to kill me. Happens too much. Not even bounty hunters, I think it's just a gang in this town that I'm in. Rhodes. Shitty. Pretty cool. Cool. I don't like the fact how you can't like clean your weapons in the camp. You, you can't. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. This is the spot. I think you can go to a table and do it. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. What were you I thinking? need to clean my damn gun. According Holy shit, this, it's so dirty. It's located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. I almost have four thousand dollars. Do this silently. Well, I'm hoping. I have uh, three hundred dollars right now. Necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. The camp this has 200. Damn. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. 
There it is. Right on time. Meow, meow, Let's meow, go. Meow, meow. Keep your I like the music so in this. See you. And oh yeah. That gun in its holster for one. Meow, 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 meow. There's a good good ass score that plays in the fifth chapter. Really? Oh yeah. Like score as in you mean like money score? No, like a song. Like there's actually words to it. Oh. And, and when you and look when you when you come across that, write down like the chorus of the song because I want to look it up because I remember it was like bomb ass, but I don't remember what they were saying, so I can't go back and look it up. <laughs> if you think about it when you come across it. I think I'm gonna end up buying me another horse. This is kind of slow for the amount of ground that I have to cover. That's how I'm feeling. I'm starting to need a new horse. I mean, I've had the same for five, well, four chapters. I didn't get until chapter two, but dang, it's just kind of worn out, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it's running away from me. Come back. <laughs> Get your horse. Trelawney. To what? Trelawney. That's his name. You talking about? The guy. Oh, is he singing opera with a lady? Yep. Opera. Says his name. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Do you ever get a girlfriend in this game? Did you ever get lonely? If you didn't help her out. Help who out? Uh, that one girl, that one woman who asked you to go find her brother. Yeah, I helped her. Oh, out. Wait. Yep. Did you did you refuse her any time? No. Oh my gosh, Hammer, am I really about to have to do this? Oh no. I'm so sorry, Pooh. Oh no. Oh my god. So sad. What? 
Okay, so, so so the baby bear I was talking about. You, you, okay, so I shot it with an arrow, and I had to do a mercy kill on it. Really? Yeah, that, that's the first interaction I've had doing that. But I think the kill was clean, so maybe I'll be alright. Ah, oh, this game messes with my emotions, Hammer. You just don't even know. It doesn't mess with mine. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Am I just cold hearted? Or whatever Apparently the fuck so. is. That's how I am. In person. Cold hearted fucking bitch. Yeah, I don't give a shit. So I have a perfect black bear pelt, but I don't know if I can store it. What do you mean? Like on your horse? Because it, I, like, no, I, I mean, like off my horse because you know it takes up space. But it's like the thro it's uh, like it's a perfect. A go to your camp and just throw it on the ground. That yours disappeared. It did, but that's the risk that uh, you're willing to take. Or you can customize your camp with it. One or the other. Hang on to it for a little bit. You have tomorrow I off. Could I could put it on the back of my. Oh yeah, I took it. This way, sir. Cool. If it, I would still be up because you know I work night shift. Yeah. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. I feel welcome. But you know, I could call in my secondary horse and keep the pelt on it. Yeah, but would it stay you. on it though? Yeah, I think so. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice please. to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. And my beard's getting long. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. These sounds in this game, though, there's so many of them. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. What now? Look everything I Said the sounds in this game, there's so many of them. I'll shove that silver oh, yeah. spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? <coughs> Use the back there. Wounds Bless you. you. Said it be she did. Oh, I've I've done been blessed. This game finally came out. <laughs> like you know, sometimes I just think to myself while I'm playing, and it's like, am I, am I actually playing Red Dead Redemption 2? Because you know, I, I've I've waited. Like I remember. Being a uh, year in high school when the game trailer was released, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was crazy, man, crazy. The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite field. It's like a fucking game of home. Oh. <laughs> They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. 
Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. See, then again, it's called a temporary horse. I don't know. Maybe I can have, I can buy a second horse and keep them both down. I have a second horse. And my horse, and my horse no longer has a pelt on it. So, okay, well, that's the life for you, I guess. What the hell happened to it? Were you doing a mission? No, I did had a like there was a cutscene, and yeah, I called my horse. No longer get the pelt <laughs> Oh, Mike. Uh, listen. Just, if you get a pelt, do something with it immediately. Oh, Don't worry about doing I'm anything not else. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? It pisses me off. Like it was a perfect pelt too. And no damage, not not in poor condition or nothing. But perfect. you want boy i've i've there, there was a thing a, a, a thing at the saloon what you talking about well i'm delivering the supplies you're not the usual driver uh, you want a bottle friend here uh, uh, have a wee drop <laughs> i'm new I, I mean you no harm uh, <laughs> I, i've come from donegal in, in ireland you don't say yeah <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. Music for this game really is good. It really is, though. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Pretty girl. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. You 
here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. Got this barb running down manor houses. Oh, burn quietly. already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the it's supply shed the and back time. to the field. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. It's yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Out the field, or I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Alright, so when you get a chance, next time you're back at camp, create an outfit for the code because you're gonna need it. Damn it, man, I just got caught. Apparently. I moved at the wrong time. This dude turned around as soon as I fucking moved. <laughs> I'm trying to torch the tobacco fields. Oh, I know that mission, yeah. It's gonna take me a couple tries. Coming to along, then, with it. Yes, sir. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. This one didn't. So, what you got there? Payroll. Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the field. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. <gasps> no, 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 oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Trigger, come back, come back, Trigger. I didn't mean to do that. I just punched, I just punched the shit out of my horse. Jesus. <laughs> and he kicked me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, yeah, I know I deserve it, I'm sorry. Oh. Hammer, I am so Oh my gosh. I make too many accidents on this game. <laughs> oh, I choke out innocent people. I hit my horse. I can't grab any of this tobacco.
Damn, I have to fucking wait here? Come on, hurry up and move. This mission's taking fucking forever. Hmm. Are there even tobacco fields anymore? You mean real life? Yeah. Yeah? How do you think they make cigarettes? I don't fucking know anymore, but I mean you artificial. Oh. Just a bunch of fucking cancer. Real tobacco isn't really cancer though. Still fucks yeah, up your, it is. It, it still fucks up your lungs, but it kills you faster because of all the damn chemicals they put in it nowadays. You can do that? I didn't know that. <laughs> like, like, like you can. Okay, so you know how most of the time your pants are tucked in your boots. What about you, it? You can, you can tuck your pants on the outside of your boots. Your pants don't have to stay tucked in your boots. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. I, like, I never paid attention to it in that, in the, the uh, outfit selection.
turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got a money's worth already. Right. Let's just get out of here first. Come on. Yep. I just need one for hot temperatures. I think we lost them. Yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? So you said that we can have four horses. I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, I got three horses now. Get out of my way, fucking Morgan. Low temperatures, hot temperatures, average temperatures. This outfit is super hot temperatures. This outfit is super average temperatures. Okay. I'll wear this one for right now. All right. Well, I finally figured out the outfit system for the horse. So. What? Alright, so I just had to clear out all of my custom outfits, and what you do is after you create an outfit, you hit R3, and then it saves it to your your outfits you can have on your horse. You can have up to three outfits on your horse, but I think you can have more outfits customized that you can change like at your camp itself, but I don't know. Oh, that's confusing. Very. I have eight hundred and seventy four dollars. I'ma donate two hundred. Oh that's why it keeps on changing. Okay, so you see okay that, that makes sense now. So you have two custom outfits saved to your horse and then the outfit you're currently wearing counts as a third because when you swap if you were to swap outfits then obviously the one you're wearing now would go to your horse. So you really only have two outfits saved to your horse, and then the one you're currently wearing. That makes that makes sense. Okay. Damn, Rockstar. Yeah, they. They they're like, yeah, we're making this game work. Okay. There we go. Damn, they sure didn't make that kind of complicated for my peanut brain to comprehend. Right. God almighty. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna donate, uh, like, $40 again. I donated $400. Jeremiah, ass even donates more than you do. I, do I donated up to, like, $400 before. Yeah, I donated $400 just now, and now I'm donating another 40 oh. just to get this. 
I've donated so much money into my camp, you don't even know. Also, just to pre-warn you for Chapter 5, apparently that's when they, for, for some reason just now, they implement the fact that you actually have to eat. So, yeah. Okay. Don't know why they waited till Chapter 5 to make that a thing that you have to do. You know, before you didn't really have to eat, but now it's like you have to yeah, work I, it into your daily schedule. I was wondering, I was just like... You can eat to bring up your health, but you don't really need to eat. But then again, in Chapter 5, there's a reason why, I guess, that I'm not going to give away any spoilers. But, yeah, it, it explains something. What? Wait, my God. Okay, good. Find it on your own. All I need is two more upgrades, and this camp will be all the way upgraded. Sixteen dollars in camp. Richest person up in this bitch. Still have four hundred dollars. I'm actually gonna sleep. I need to bring up my dead eye. Should I shave? Fuck it, I might. <laughs> it's a uh, six right now for my length on my beard. No, don't don't make me fight the retarded guy. He, he, he's retarded. He doesn't know no better. He don't know nobody. This guy's like Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Really? Got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, <laughs> oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? Of course.
according to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. Oh, I don't know. You can't, right? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Going to rob a bank, okay. my guy. Let's move out. Yep. Oh my gosh. Hey. This hey. is not good. This is not good for me. Oh my gosh. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong. Oh my gosh, is there no lawman here? <laughs> oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, We'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. Not good hammer. This is not good hammer. Done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. Ah, that's not even right. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man. Well, right? Hammer, oh, I, 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 I don't want to give you too many tips, but it's not really a spoiler. But do, 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 you, do you get aggravated when I gave you tips? You not tips. This is don't okay. tell me this story, you know. No, no, I'm not telling you a story. Here's a tip for you. If you go into a town that's not really law regulated, like a mining, like a mining town or whatever, and if somebody smarts off to you, and you smart off back to them, don't smart off back, pull a pistol out on you, and of course you'll pull a pistol back out on them, and the next thing you know, the entire town's coming to gun you down, and it's like, what the fuck? I was defending myself. So yeah, it's... <laughs> all right, I remember that. Yeah. I don't think I'll remember it, but I probably will start a fight. I mean, yeah, like like so this guy, like I'm walking out of the bar, and I you know greeted him like partner, and he said, uh, "Did I say you could speak to me?" And then I you know I'm like, wait, what the? Heck? I'm like, I antagonized, and I'm like, what's your deal, partner? And then started arguing, and the next thing I know, he pulled out a pistol. Guy next to him pulled out a pistol, and they were both pointing at me. He's like, go ahead, I'll help you out. And then I shoot them, and the entire saloon shoots at me. I run outside, and then the entire town's shooting at me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, what? It's like I was defending myself. But yeah, just uh, keep that in mind before you try to go all... This town ain't big enough for the two of us on somebody. Because you will be right about that. It ain't big enough. That's why they'll just kill you. God almighty. So far, it's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea while I do all the dirty work. Making me use all my bullets. Something like that. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured, they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. 
I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slips. Thoughts like that? And you're one of us, no doubt. So I hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. Easy! Keep it down now. We're here. So... Well... I like how your guy rides with one hand off the horse. Yeah, like if you just hold down X and you don't hold a joystick, he'll just do it one-handed. But if you move like the joystick forward, he'll use two hands. Notice that. Always gotta be ready for that quick draw. All right. I guess it's gonna be a great online game, you know? It's gonna be 32 players again, so. All right, gentlemen. What about the Battle Royale? Okay. That's right, they're gonna have one of those, ain't they? <laughs> Forgot about that. Who knows if it'll be good or not? I'm, it's, I'm, I have high hopes for it. But, like, how long have they been in the making for Battle Royale? Not that long, I don't think. A year? Uh, Two oh years? No. I think it's supposed to be releasing right as online is. It's gonna be like one of the game modes you can so, do. We never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Uh, of course you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. Now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Stay word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, you think we're here? Open that goddamn door! Open it! How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay, okay. Hurry up. These stranger missions actually ain't all that boring either. You got damn slow! Uh. 
Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Okay. I did not mean to shoot. You know how you have to press R2 to aim sometimes? I just did that and he fucking yeah. shot. Yeah, see, that, that's what I've been doing by accident. That accidentally hits people or starts to fight. Oh my god, I just shot this guy straight in a fucking dome and failed the mission. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, starting from outside again. It's like, it's like they needed a, another button for the controllers for this game because this is kind of complex, you know? Like, Could have used R1 for that. While you're holding L2? Yeah. Notice the black bears aren't aggressive. Okay, the door's on. They'll actually run away from you. Really? Yeah. Grizzly bears, those bastards come out. Open the goddamn vault! Open it! Too slow. Just open the goddamn door. himself in here come here <laughs> open the lock boxes now I uh, the, the, the manager does that uh, I god damn it now what guess I'll crack them or blow them up keep an eye out I'll be as quick as I can yeah I think I should be able to crack these all right but uh, you better be quick <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still! As fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Please, let me go. I swear there's not enough time in a day to play this game. I'm um, uh, what? So there's not enough time in the day to play this game. There really is. <laughs> oh my word. Next Sunday, we should have one more hour, though. You know, that's when time jumps back an hour. Yep. Oh. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? It's like we're playing and then the time swaps over, so it, like, deletes an hour worth of, uh, gameplay since we're going back in time, kind of. <laughs> That's the only time we go back in the future. Yep. Shh. 
Shut up, Mexican. This is a good take. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed! <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yeah.
My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Okay, how much money do I make off of this? Your share of two grand? Damn, son, where did you find this? Might as well finish my camp upgrades. No reason to buy a boat. We're gonna move here pretty soon, I can tell. It'll, it'll move with you. It'll move with me? But still. Yeah. Eat my. Yeah, it's not really a necessary thing to have. Yeah. You know what? Nah, I ain't gonna buy that boat. Camp's all upgraded except for the boat. Always in the way, ain't you? Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes, 
I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance you gotta take. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Ain't no time for tigers. <laughs> Bro, I like Dutch's vest. Yeah. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Watch it. Did I die? Or no, she died. No, Charles died. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean like. Like he actually died, like as part of the story. I mean, we're doing a mission, and you know, darn, I've been fighting cannibal for got so long now, I can barely remember a time when it probably only remember who Charles is, so I don't think it'll matter. Now, no I do a little there. bit. No. But no, he, he doesn't die, he just... Do you know, I wish that, like, even though he's a main character, if, like, a character dies, then that story dies, you know? What do you mean? Like, let's say if you're doing, like, a main mission and he dies, then he's dead. Oh, you know, that would be some, like, like, like next-gen kind of crap right there. Like, it would actually change the entire setup. <laughs> but it would be, like, there's so many different storylines if that happens. Right. friend with you watching over me I would walk into hell itself as would I hey up there men on the ridge oh Driscoll's from the look of them I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. <laughs> Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us in the situation. 
Things that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Colm O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. Believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterward. We'll be there, partner. Well, I fucked that up. I tried jumping over a rock, but I jumped too early. Oh my gosh, I, what now? So I tried jumping over a big ass rock, but I jumped too early. Easy now. Damn it, Charles, I wish you'd get on somewhere. I hate missions that revolve around protecting somebody else. It's just. irritates the piss out it's of me. It's nonsense. It really is. How's your gang doing? I still believing in you. Better world. Pure. <laughs> How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. Because like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us, whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here, Comb? Is this thing over? Obviously not. Let's got my ass ran up on and Got a sense. Uh, handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fucked the whole lot of them. With this fella Colin Price, we can draw them all back. True. Where do <laughs> Colin and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think, to speak to the law. That. He's escaping! Shoot him! Come on. Come on. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Not yet, but I will. Well, 
Oh shit, I just got my head blown off by a 12 gauge. I kind of like how they added a little bit of first person in the story mode as well. Yeah, yeah. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Preach true. Let me go, Cole. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had me. <laughs> oh, I know you would. But see, in to rescue you, grab all of it, and you, then disappear. You only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and we'll all be waiting for him. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I gotta fucking get out of this place. in a minute. What the hell? <gasps> What 
What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Prisoners out! Don't let them get to those weapons! <laughs> Chapter 6. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Every chapter so far you've moved camp? Yep. some reason every chapter shows that deer I wonder if that's supposed to be like I don't know you know what I'm talking about don't you uh, not, I haven't really been paying attention to be honest oh. but I'll, I'll definitely check after this chapter Not really check, but pay attention. Slowly getting depressing. I told you it was just set up to us. My boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. Give me a fucking blanket, my man.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, take care of yourself. You too. Where's that little boy at? In Jack? Yeah. What do you mean, where is he Where is he at? I got a book for him. So I look at you, take... You, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll beat up a woman or kill a man in cold blood, but you'll get that little boy his book. <laughs> yep. I'll be right back, I gotta go pee. Too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. You know how we met? Well, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. More than 20 years. We ain't dead yet. Not Quite. Oh, Dutch was something special back then. I guess he's something special now. I thought I could con the paint off a wall, but he was good. He was good. I spun him this yarn about a mile long about my daddy, the ambassador, and would he help me find my way back to Paris, France? When all of a sudden I looked and my money and my gun had disappeared. <laughs> Have you read the journal? We laughed and said we'd face the future together. You were at facing uh, together. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be stuck with this game for another five to seven years myself. <laughs> Have you uh, read the journal? What journal? His journal. No, I didn't read it. Why? Because it has some information about Blackwater in there. Oh. Do you ever just double save to make sure it saves? <laughs> yeah, I, I used to. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna hop off. Really Why?